and this is Sunday. Welcome to Sunday. Usually, um, you want to have some kind of music, like Saturday Night Live music, you know. But my name is Sunday, and this is Vine Sauce. And today, I have some delicious beta content trash for you. Um, and then smack in the middle is Sunday Stew. And then we might get some bonus material. I don't know. But it should be a good night. Okay, welcome. We're going to start with the beta pack. This is um, a pack created by Beta64, who does all kinds of stuff. And you probably saw videos on his channel about, like, early versions of video games and all kinds of prototypes. I have here explanations of the games, plus why the versions didn't get released or whatever. And um, weirdly enough... This is done using the real-time corrupter because it's just easy to load the games and save states. Which is a really great idea, by the way. So I could just load up everything super easy, no problem. Uh, so thank you, Beta64, for this material. Okay, so what the fuck is this? This is apparently... This was created to show off the capabilities of the GBA. It was bundled with the third version of the GBA's SDK. But this isn't real 3D, is it? This just looks like it was like a picture of a 3D model rotated. Well, in any case, that is how we're starting. So it's pre-rendered, but it looks nice. I mean, you can see the water looks nice, it moves. For an early version of GBA, this is pretty cool. Okay, um, do you remember Glover? Well, apparently Glover 2 happened, but was never released. Alright, so the audio here is a little crusty. Uh, so just give me a second, I know how to do this. Um, let's get that. There we go. Much better. Okay. So, hang on a minute. The, the audio is specifically crusty on this one, and I can fix that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you this, because this pack is cool. Vinny, you could play that Yoshi's demo? Really? You... you <laughs> Wow, you can! I thought it was just an intro screen. Wow, look at that! Oh, this is very, very much just Yoshi, Yoshi's story. I had no idea. Use your tongue, Yoshi! Oh my god. Oh, this is some, some like, heavy crust. The flower is actually being used as health, which is interesting. They didn't really do too much with Yoshi on the GBA anyway. Yoshi, if I'm not mistaken, got a remake of Yoshi's Island, and that was it. So none of this was ever used. It got Yoshi's Tilt and Tumble. Oh. I mean, the best part about this is, I could corrupt any one of these games at a moment's notice. Alright, but we'll show you Glover, don't worry, Glover is... Glover will be covered. Glover is not really all that interesting to me because I never played the original Glover, but it should be fun. Okay, you hit this. I mean, this could have turned into a game. It's kind of barren. It's barren like Yoshi's vagina. Let me check something out here. Oh, fuck. There's a death screen. Damn. 
I had no idea there was gonna be a death screen. I thought it was gonna be very basic. Just saying. If needs be, we can corrupt. But yeah, I don't know. Yoshi's tongue doesn't seem to be. I can't even... I can't even use the eggs. Can't use eggs, can't use tongue. I guess you'd have to imagine, like, why would they even bother if it's just a visual tech demo of... This is what we can do. Oof. No eggs, no tongue. Made in Japan, it says. <laughs> right there in the background. That would be a good concept for the next Yoshi game. Just... words. Man, we made him up. Yeah, not much to this. But I enjoyed my several minutes with it. It's looping. It's nice. Not very hard to corrupt. That's like a really, really disconcerting... Whoa, 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 Yoshi. Alright, alright, we'll try Glover again. This is what you chaps... ...want to see. You want you want to see some... ...some interesting... ...early versions of games, or games that were cancelled. Okay, so... ...this glove game... I don't know how far it got, but it says here, Glover 2 is an unreleased sequel to Glover, meant to be more like Banjo-Kazooie and other collectathons. Um... Okay. So I got some instructions on what to do here, but I'll give it a shot for a couple minutes. There's- I've got save states, too. Oh, he's got attitude. Oh, cool. You can open that? Vinny, he looks like the Hamburger Helper. I'm actually kind of surprised that the Hamburger Helper wasn't... ...available as, like, a bonus character, or that Hamburger Helper didn't sue... ...Glover. Also, hey, Beta64. Thank you again for, uh, putting all this together. So... I'm gonna collect one of the items. Oh boy, so there's another wizard's tower. I remember the intro for Glover 1 was kind of... ...like, surprisingly dark. Oh god, it's so Banjo-Kazooie, it hurts. As in, this voice is terrible and it hurts my ears. It's like three sounds, and he's just saying het over and over again. Like the end of that one Felix the Cat game. You know which one I'm talking about. Het. These are cartoon fingers. You don't need more than four. Hold A to make the text go faster. Okay, good to know. Let's just jump in here. <clears throat> I always thought Glover was a cool concept <coughs> until I played it <coughs> years later. Excuse me. Damn pistachios. That's my job. Get out of it. Okay. Vinny, I thought you never played it. Oh, no, no, no. I played it, like, this year. I'm talking about, like, on stream for Corruptions, maybe. I played... enough of Glover to not really enjoy the way it played. 
Vinny, you're not supposed to eat them. Is that the Zelda chicken? Farts and Zelda chicken. <laughs> no, how how was this game never released? Well, this is the, the glove mechanics again. Um, yeah, it's very bright and colorful. It, it definitely has that Banjo-Kazooie thing going, not just in the voices, either. Wow. What do you- what do you sound like? Do you vomit when you speak? It's a fountain. It's not even a real thing. God damn it. Also, are you guys okay with the crusty N64 resolution, or do you want me to bump it up? I'm keeping it this way for authenticity's sake. The crust is okay. I, I see a lot of different answers here, but... Hold R for ball? What does that mean, hold R? Oh, it just points where it is. Right, right, right. Okay, just like Glover 1. Um, but- but why was this game... ...bump it down? Why, why was this game cancelled, though, in all seriousness? Not just because of farting birds. The publisher... Someone at Hasbro bought 300,000 carts instead of 150,000 as they were supposed to buy, and retailers didn't want the extra 150k. Hasbro killed the project because they needed the money. Wow, okay. Hasbro. Right. Do they still make games, Hasbro? Are they out of the video game? Are, do they even still alive? Because I can then make a has-been joke. Magic the Gathering? I thought Wizards of the Coast made that. <laughs> I don't know! Uh, also, I don't even know how to collect a, a single item in this game. You can't even get killed. All right, so we'll just go this. We'll go we'll load the save state. Take it to the pot. Oh, I well, well that ends that. Please, Mr. Hub Chicken Glovel. Glovel says we need an egg for our pie. <laughs> Great noises. And that is a broken egg. Cool black eggs, by the way. Unless it's just not textured properly. Oh my god! I think I'm going to, um... I think I'm gonna get rid of this crust. Which is fine, I mean, again, authenticity is nice for N64, but, but then again, there should be way more fog than this if this was real N64. I'm sorry, everybody, I'm gonna... I'm gonna bump up the resolution. Vinny, go to the pot? What, like the bathroom? I don't- this pot that people are talking about, I don't see it. Am I... fucking blind? Am I a stupid? 
the cauldron in the castle. Oh. Okay, how do I enter? How do I get this in there? I just need to put- how do I get- MOTHERFUCKER! Okay, just a moment, please. Look at that. It's like a whole new world. It's still quite crusty. But it just hurts a little less to look at. So this is the cornfield. Um, walk forward, jump over the gate to reach the next area. This is supposed to be a boss battle with the Scarecrow, but wasn't implemented yet. Oh, you- you really found some interesting points to show the stream and myself. This is kind of cool. You get Rainbow Vomit Land. This- this is just corruptions. Basically just corruptions. I mean, if I corrupted this, it wouldn't get that much worse. Or would it? This is better than Brooklyn! Yeah, things here are a little bit fucked up. So it's, it's gonna be... I, I don't think... I don't think I would have liked this game if I played... I mean, if I played the original Glover when it first came out, I might have liked it. I'm Maybe. There's a chance. It just depends on, you know... I like some shitty games, or and Glover's not shitty, but I just didn't like it years later. Um, you know, there's this thing where, like, if you're young and you have, like, two games to play, you tend to just play it anyway. Like, I like Castlevania 64 a little bit, for that reason. So, this is the harbor, and there's only one message attached to this. You can't leave. Um, hey, quick question. This is working as intended, right, Beta64? Like, this corruption water is how you see it as well, or how you saw it when you were creating this pack? Should open... Yeah, okay, just checking, because sometimes things go wrong. And in this case, Things aren't going wrong. Things are going, sadly, very, very right. Okay. On actual hardware, too. Doesn't sound like a lot of music was implemented in Glover 2, either. Um, but this is an early build, and I have a later build tier, too, so we get to see the game a little further along in development. But I guess they already had the engine, they had the glove. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned this on stream. I, I have mentioned this on stream, but I'll mention it again for those that weren't here. Um, Tom Hanks has a weird obsession with finding gloves. Whenever he's out, he'll he'll look for gloves, and he usually sees just one stranded, lonely glove throughout the world. So it's one of those things that he notices, and now he can't stop noticing, and he'll notice like a single abandoned glove everywhere. So that's, um, Tom Hanks, ladies and gentlemen. You can't- you can make the jump to the other side. Okay, so this is the Bone Bridge. Kinda- yeah, I mean, it, again, the banjo comparison is- is legit. Oof. 
but it's like, um, budget banjo. There we go. Wow. Look at that. Video games. And now we start the later build of Glover 2. It says here, um, press any button when the fish is swimming to start the game. Otherwise, it's an endless loop. So I don't know how much later this is, but let's see. The game won't start the story properly unless you stand on the N64 in the room. Then jump and press Z mid-air. What the hell? It was almost like a snake reaction. What the hell? This was just a few months later. Oh, well, it already looks a lot better. That That is a weird-looking, unfinished wizard. This is the, the BLT wizard, everybody. Wish you were here. I guess this is the beginning of the story. I see. Do you remember how in Banjo you'd have to, like, be in Banjo's house? And then, you know, you get to choose the files, and Banjo's cooking, and Banjo's sleeping. I wonder if that had anything anything to do with this. So I have to, like, jump. What the fuck? What the hell is all this? I, it's kind of cool. I have to say, this is like kind of a neat way to start a game. Stage two. No, I would. It's not. He's just using. It's a joystick, chat. It's a joystick. It's a stick that gives you joy. Do I have to complete this or can I just move on? So that music, you know, the only music is gone. So now you get to hear this. Oh. Alright, and then I go down the stairs as normal, and we begin... Okay. Well, this looks a lot better. Oh, this looks a lot better. Look at how, <laughs> how Banjo-Kazooie-esque the cauldron is. It's even wearing Banjo's fucking pants. Okay, so it says here, um, if you don't want to collect all the ingredients again, which was thankfully just reduced to only one, to three rather, just skip intro shovel get. Well, let me get one ingredient. Let's see what it looks like to bring a, an ingredient to the cauldron for the first time. Those are Peter Griffin eyes on the cauldron? I don't know about that. No, I don't know about that. Well, the frame rates got a little shittier. Um, the visuals here got a lot more nice, I guess, a little bit more refined, but uh, it, it looks, it's hard to look at because of the frame rates. Oh god. Oh god, are you... Here we go again. Hey, hey, beater. I like how they, like, spent several months refining this game and still not removed this. Really? Like, they thought this was totally fine? <laughs> it's just the cuckoo noise from Zelda is amazing. 
That's gotta be some kind of fucking... That's got- that, that's gotta be, like... Royalty-free. Nintendo, as we know, with that pot break sound effect, dips into the royalty-free every so often. Okay, yeah, this, this is a harder game to play now because of the, um... Because of the super cool frame rate issues. Someone mentioned Conquer 64. Oh, you mean like the original version of Conquer? Well, I have a version of Conquer here that's not that, but like Conquer 12 Tales Conquer, that would be fucking amazing to find that. Am I gonna do this now? I gotta get this. All right, not too bad. And then you have to do two more ingredients, and uh, the glove is happy. Mushroom. I guess it's a good tutorial with its damn Peter Griffin eyes and, and its head. So this is the uh, shovel. Uses the shovel to get the onion nearby. I don't like hearing that noise a lot. And I'm hearing it a lot. Hang on a second. Um use a shovel to get the onion nearby. And then take the onion to the pot indoors to continue the story. So as a glove. Well, this is kind of a neat concept that I'm surprised didn't happen in maybe it didn't happen in Glover 1. I don't think it did. But you're a hand, so you can use a bunch of different tools. That is a weird looking mouse thing. Th that was in one? They're tools. So wait, 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 wait. In Glover 1, could you use a shovel? No? Oh, well, at least they tried something different here. Oh, God! Also, someone in, just sh in chat just said, I'm a glove, I'm a hand with a job. <laughs> chat member, I gotta say, I enjoyed that. So then, um, you have to collect the runes, leave the house, talk to the bird. Oh shit. Do you fart? Yep. On second thought, maybe we don't need to talk to the bird. This is the lawnmower race. In order to collect the last rune, you need to win the race. Okay. Okay, you know, this is kind of pretty good now. <laughs> Compared to the first build, aside from the chunky frame rates, this is pretty good. There's a lot more variety than I was expecting. It kind of, I warmed up to it a little bit. It chores simulator? Oh shit, you're right. Fuck. Mow the lawn, dig out the onion, make a stew. A Sunday stew, which will be uh, up next after beta games. Oh, did I just go through that? Every game is a chore simulator to someone else. I agree with that statement. I also agree that this <laughs> this thing drifts like the warthog from Halo. <laughs> it turns out this code was borrowed for Halo 1. Bungie loved the prototype so much that they were like, we need to make a game quick. But the weird thing is about chore simulators, they're really, really big. 
Like, people buy chore simulators. That's like, those fucking simulator games I play every now and then. Those sell millions. In Germany especially, people love to do chores. I'm just generalizing, but they sell very well in Germany, apparently. I got an email about three upcoming simulators. The first was Forest Cleaning Simulator, where you go into a forest and pick up trash. Not kidding. Uh, the second was Restaurant Flipping Simulator, I think, where it's like, you, you play as Gordon Ramsay. Not really, but you go into like a shitty abandoned restaurant and you just make it better and you clean it up and you like do the, um, the wallpaper and all that stuff. Right? Uh... And then the last one I showed on stream, New York City Taxi Cab Driver Simulator. Where you drink beer while you're driving, and then like crash into people and, and then fucking cause wrecks. So that... is... uh, real. Those three games are real. And they said, do you want any of these? And I said... Yes. And then I looked at the date, and it was like 2021. So, I don't... Uh, to be continued, let's just say. To be continued. Turn into a boxing glove. That's smart. I'm a drop of magical ball energy. <laughs> once, once I've cast the rubber ball spell, you can use ball energy. <laughs> the ball to you. <laughs> you can, why is this? This shouldn't be funny. I'm 34. You can use the ball, or change the ball into other things. Um, collect me with the ball. Big ball energy, huh? So I'm gonna head to the meat cottage now. Go talk to the frog outside to the right of the house and then enter the meat cottage. First of all, this is amazing. The meat cottage looks very good. There's definitely some worms in there yowing it up. Okay, so, um, oh, the water isn't like glitchy. Apparently, I have to talk to a frog on the right side. And then enter. Outside, on the right side of the house. Oh, I see the frog. Could you imagine if Beta64 modded in Bungie? Oh god, this kind of looks like Bungie! Hi! God damn it, I can't- wait, wait, what?! Is- th that was not modded, right? That was- was that in the original? No. I don't believe that. It was in the original ROM? Okay, so someone left that. It's a beta thing. I just find it funny that they would even leave that in there to begin with, but that's fine. I am really starved. Could you feed me some of those funny looking things? <laughs> juicy. Nice and juicy. Suck. I am really starved. Could you feed me some of those fucking looking things? <laughs> Succulent. A collectible. Which is par for the course. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's enter the meat shack. It's a little old place where we can get together. It's also a little old place where anything- anything goes. It's the museum of anything goes. Oi, get your filthy, uh, fingers off my meatball. No, it's my meatball now. <laughs> what the fuck? You got your meatball back. 
untitled glove game? Yeah, kinda. I love the sausage doorway, that's really good stuff. Someone in chat just said maybe the world didn't need a glove or two. And dead. And they shot the meatball. Gambling Den Interior. Oh shit. It's gonna be Dragon Quest XI now. Now I can hit the jackpot again. What? What game is this? I know what this is. But yet I can't... Spades? I give up. Sorry, you lose. Better luck next time. So there's like a gambling den? What the fuck? That was like a Diablo, like, gremlin voice. Ragadishu! That was in the first game? Oh. Uh, yeah, I know in the first game there were different types of, of, uh, different types of balls that you could, uh, you, you could, uh, experiment with. I get to play some pool. some billiards. I guess this game could have been kind of cool if it was completed. I got one. I think we'll move on. Um, there's a lot of Glover 2 stuff, so before I move on to... The, and, there, and there's a lot of games in this pack that I think some of you will be very interested in seeing. But, considering this is a game that never came out, I'm gonna go through each of these areas, spend a couple minutes on each one. So there's a sewer level. Going back the way you came lead, leads back to the meat cod. Oh god, it's a sewer alien. A T-posing sewer alien. That would have been a boss, I guess. Didn't fully, um, get programmed as such. It was a Goigi. I don't know why the eyes on that structure, on that dam, bother me so much. Or is it a bridge? But, but it really does. This is a, a farm gets flooded by putting an onion under the eyes of the well. Here's the aftermath. In the house with a chimney and he'll talk to you. Boy, these frame rates are rough. Oh my god! Could they have fixed this? Also, the eyes on that bridge or dam or whatever. Or wall. Those eyes look like the eyes I, I made Kirsty have. In, um, the 64 DD Mario artist shit. And... Glover is dead. Oh wait, no, I'm, I'm not dead. We're swimming. There's no swimming animations. Rap boy genius, huh? <laughs> That's the weirdest thing ever, because I just referenced Rap Boy Genius like two weeks ago, not having thought about it in about eight years. So that's a weird... Analogy. Potato condition. <laughs> don't do this to me, please. I don't, I don't need Rap Boy Genius songs stuck in my head for another week. I think this wall should sound like this. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. 
And now this is the same port, or the same harbor from last time, um, except more populated. This seems overly ambitious for the N64. I guess Banjo-Tooie managed to do it, but they rare figured out how to make it run reasonably well. Even though, from what I remember, and I don't remember a lot of Tooie, but I remember that having some frame issues too. Most rare games had frame issues. They were very ambitious. Banjo 1 or 2, do you like more? I like Banjo 1 a lot more, and... The more I... Oh, God, this camera. Oh, God! The more I thought about streaming Banjo 2, the more I didn't want to do it. Because I know what kind of game it is, and I know how giant it is. So... I like the pace of Banjo 1, I just think it's a really, like, perfect platformer. Uh, so, one day I could stream Banjo-Tooie, but I'm a little bit afraid to. Have at you, varlet. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, hot, hot sauce. It seems like a race, but there's no wind condition, just look at the water boss. Yeah, that's- that's definitely a water boss. It's, um, it's a weird pirate dude on a fucking shark. And it's a shame this little glove guy- I, I may not be the biggest Glover fan, but it's a shame this little glove guy didn't get more of a chance. He's a village. Oh, that's more Gruntilda, never mind. Take my eye to the telescope. Make sure you bring it back. What the fuck? Um... You know... As weird as this is... I think it's a fantastic idea. I don't even know if there is a telescope nearby. I can't see anything, but maybe let me try to kill this dude with the ball, with the eye, with the eye, <clears throat> pistachios. And yes, I I take the shells off of the pistachios before I eat them. But you know, like there's like a a little thin layer of of like cover. Uh, what would you even call that? Like a like a mini shell, and that kind of gets stuck in your throat. <clears throat> a membrane. It's a skin, a nut sleeve. Someone. <laughs> Thank you for that. You're supposed to steal the ruins here and stuff, or runes. I believe that's what sends you to prison in cell, which is next. Squeeze! Okay, so it doesn't look like this is fully finished either, or even really close to finished. And no music! Still no music. And here's the cell. Glover goes to jail. To escape, throw the ball onto the bed, the crate, and the shelf, and finally out the window. This looks weird. Huh? <laughs> 
Oh. Oh, I did it. And, uh, the camera's just stuck in jail. Sorry to say, Glover escaped. Oh, Glover, sorry, I, Danny Glover. Um, Glover escaped, but the cameraman didn't. Okay, well, in case I couldn't do it, there was a save state for that. Feel free to explore, just make sure to do the following. Pick up the phone. Pick up with the phone on the floor and then talk to the clown. Son, did you say there's a clown here? Oh, I don't like this clown. So sad I used to have a whole bunch of balloons, but not... I've only got one left. <laughs> it's, it's really weird seeing a game like this with, like, typos and goddammits. And the phone. Oh, fuck. Frame rates. Get me a diamond or the wizard gets it. Okay, okay. Where from? Head to the mountains. I'll meet you on the bone bridge once you've got the jewel. Hurry. Better hurry or I might get impotent. Did you see... Did that say impotent? Like, impotent as in, like, like no bones? We're going to the bone bridge, but he's impotent? Okay, just making sure I caught that. Also, why the fuck are the frame rates so fast now? What what is going on here? Maybe I pressed the wrong button. You hit fast forward. Probably. So now I give the clown the balloon. A clown. All my balloons are back. Thank you. You have the shiny rune as a reward. Um, no sound. Something went wrong here. I think that was just... Yeah, the other ones are fine. I think that was just that. You know, junkyard. We're almost done with Glover. Um, Junkyard. So it looks like this boss has actually been implemented. That, that kind of looked like a meaty ball. It's weird, right? Ooh. <laughs> Let's skip. What, what did it look like? A testicle? No. Oh, this one crashed. It said here, grab the brain. Okay. Sound throttle is buggy, can result in crashes. Okay. Um, well, there's no music anyway, so it doesn't really fucking matter, I guess, but... The, uh, the brain, huh? Froze. May crash on the way there. You'll be stuck forever. So I have to put the brain in the pot. And then jump in yourself to unlock the boxing glove. This is your brain on yacht. Any questions? Very good, chat member. Very good. And finally, one more. Glover 2. Take a right, enter the first door. Okay. Hey. 
This is a really, really good way to do this, by the way. Once again, using the real-time corruptor has sped this along so much. Would be interesting to see this game actually completed. I'm sure someone could mod it. Someone out there could probably... I mean, it seems very, very unfinished. But, there are assets to work with. Um... Crash test dummy? Weird. The final build of the game is about 85% complete. Interesting. Good. Good noise! Okay. Oh, it's all toilet humor. Exit the room, and then go back in. Weird. Oh, God, okay. Um, this is the dance area. Get to the ledge behind the giant trophy to enter a new room. I feel like I'm playing one of those fucking, like, walking simulator Sunday streams where everything is weird, like LSD. Or 21 The World. So, so much here is just not finished. And it's, like, honestly kind of fucking fascinating. Okay, so this is the, um, the rocket ship? What the hell? And then I have to touch a control panel and, and he- oh! Touch the control panel. And now I can go wherever. I can go anywhere. I can do anything. I can fly twice as high. And it's like Spaceland. From within your mind, no one else can find the light that you inspire. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, Pico Interactive is working on completing Glover 2 and importing- importing it to modern systems along with Glover 1. No. Really? Wow, okay. If that's real, then one day maybe you will be able to play that, chat members. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. I enjoyed seeing that game. But then, now we have a Super Nintendo game. This is Rayman. Rayman was originally developed on a number of systems. First Atari ST, then uh, Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo CD, and then finally Jaguar. This is the only dumped prototype of the SNES version and features a single level. It looks very weird and it's making me uncomfortable. Uh, is it, is it supposed to look glitchy like this? And is there supposed to be no sound? Warm. No sound, okay, that's correct. Very, um... Very difficult to play, very slow. That's- that's the run button, by the way. I'm now holding the run button. It looks like a Raymond... ...imposter. It does. Roy- Roymon. <laughs> Just plain old Raymond. 
And that's it. That's it. That's all of it. Okay, now this one I've talked about on stream. Hang on, we gotta listen to that again. Um, unreleased port of Resident Evil for the Game Boy Color. When I streamed Resident Evil recently, I talked about this. I even showed a little bit of the footage. I've never played this. This is um, one of the more finished versions. Some claiming it to be around 90% complete. Port announced 1999, cancelled 2000. Resident Evil Gaiden was released instead. Interesting. Resident Evil. They have escaped into the mansion where they thought it was safe. Yet. <laughs> so we're just skipping all the beginning stuff and they're just here. I don't know what happened. Barry, where is Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No! What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. I mean, I've seen video footage of this, and it is really surprisingly kind of impressive for a Game Boy Color game. This, I think there's chunky jams in this one. Yep. And it's got tank controls and everything. Having completed Resident Evil... ...recently, I can finish this whole game in about five minutes. Okay. Ten minutes. A grandfather clock is ticking. those camera angle things. Let's see. Uh, combat knife. Use equip. I don't, am I stabbing? I don't know what's happening. Chris is very chunky. I can't tell if this is a stab animation. It's it's really, really hard to tell. Equip, right? So that's equipped. Um, can you, like, check? You can just look at the sprite. The code at the bottom of the screen, that's just debugging stuff. <laughs> Still frame. What's happening? I'm dying. <laughs> you died! <laughs> yeah, so you get the idea. I mean, you can watch more footage of it. You can watch it on YouTube. People doing much more and uh, actually shooting a gun, too. But, again, as I said when I played Resident Evil recently, this fucking game is kind of impressive and, and kind of cool. Just the fact that it exists. Uh, I would probably not have liked this even when I was young. But someone would. How about WarioWare?
Okay, this is from Wario World, where you could download a trial version onto your GBA via the link cable, starting at the CM part, which is unique to this build to advertise the game. Alright. I streamed Wario World. Okay, press the wrong button. Oh, the music is just wonderful and crusty and momentary. The most, the shortest, the fastest. Reasonable. <laughs> Rated E for everyone. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen this before. This is great. Please? Any time. Damn, potatoes. Best advertisement for WarioWare. And that's it. The unique content is over. No. So, so why don't we, uh... Whoa! These- these corruptions aren't, um, really all that good, are they? <laughs> good. We just never leave the screen. I, I figured I'm in fucking the real-time corruptor, I may as well try to corrupt. Oh god. Yeah, it can't handle it. The game is- is just not handling the corruptions. Get that audio way down. Dear God. Moving on. I tried. I tried to corrupt it, chat. I tried. Okay, so this is the early version, prototype version of Superman 64. Yay! Uh, apparently it's better than the final game, because the infamous rings aren't in this game. And there's a bigger world, but it's still terrible. You entered the Enertron, but you're still hungry. Short time, your fate will be sealed, Superman. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that 3D Titus logo before, so that that might be the unique aspect to this. Oh, we got Tesla truck jokes in chat. Nice. I, th I think something is happening on the screen. I can't really tell. Can you? So, I guess that's all of it. <laughs> 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 no.
This looks like a job for Superman. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no way to polish this turd. Not even a better prototype could save this. The green tint is gone, though. Now it's like a light blue tint. Missions failed? short time, your fate will be sealed, Superman. This looks like a job for Superman. Yeah, the PS1 version of this game was supposed to be better. They were going to fix some of the issues, but um, this game was so terrible that they canceled that. Imagine that. Oh god, this looks fucking terrible. <laughs> I, I hate it. I've already had to stream this game several times, not in full, only a little bit, just to do corruptions of it and to check it out for, like, bad N64 games. And that's enough. That's enough. And, and look at this, I don't even... They don't even, like, show you where the ambulance is. Can we go back to the rings, please? At least I could see where those were. Um, what? I... I... Excuse me? I, I rescued the ambulance? I defeated the tree. I flew through the tree and won. Again, I have my story about how my guidance counselor back in high school bought this game. Bought an N60, I believe he bought an N64 for this game. And then it was so bad. He was like a massive Superman fan, but it was the game was so bad that he stopped playing video games altogether after it came out. I could be wrong on the fact that he bought an N64 just to play it, but that's where my memory goes, so don't quote me on that. Alright, um, I can't play any more of this, but I do want to see that intro again. Because it's kind of horrifying. I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. It looks like tenderly. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, ECTS Demo, an early title screen with demo videos that was never used. Even in the demo, it had to be hacked right, back okay, in. Poo here. Oh, hey, uh, excuse me, hello. Yeah, you. Uh, <clears throat> whoa, <laughs> friendly type. I'm looking for some poo. I know it sounds pretty strange, but... <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> so I think you just have to let this play for a bit. Like, like, what's happening here? Something's wrong with the emulation? I didn't change any settings. Wait. 
Beta 64, is this supposed to be, like, how it goes? Oh, this is about right. Apparently this is about right. Oh, if you've never seen this game before, I'm sure some of you haven't. This is a pretty good sizzle reel of what you could expect. <laughs> sizzle reel. The demo conquer is playing terribly. Looks pretty good though. Everything else looks Marvelous. about the same. Um, and now we're here. Oh, that was a weird thing. The rain got stuck in the sky. Hang on a minute. Um, Superman 64 was supposed to look better. Uh, no. <laughs> the beta. Oh, there were visual glitches. I gotcha. So this is a little different, apparently. So this is now what we will be experiencing for the next five minutes. Me, 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 me. I am the great mighty poo, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. A huge supply of tish comes from my chocolate starfish. <laughs> How about some scat, you little twat? So, wh I'm not really sure what's different here, aside from the me, 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 me. Some- have some more caviar was removed in this one. Do you really think you'll survive in here? You don't seem to know it, make your in. No censorship. Have some more caviar. <laughs> the camera work is totally different. Okay. I'm really getting rather mad or like a niggly, tickly, shitty little tag nut. When I've knocked you out with all my bab, I'm going to take your head and arms. T pose. My butt. That's right, my butt, my butt, my butt! The N64 version wasn't censored, Xbox version was. It's weird. Yeah, I can only imagine the people that never saw the actual game, never played the actual game, witnessing this for the very, very first time. Let's just say this was a thing. It was talked about a lot. Oh, what a world, what a world! 
Who'd have thought a good little squirrel like you could destroy my beautiful clagginess? Oh, I'm going! Oh! Ah! No! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I call a bowel movement. Good. Yeah, so if you want to do some comparisons, if you want to find out what's different from this version and the real version, you can watch my stream of it that I did from several years ago. <laughs> Removed cutscene. Oh, I think I saw this one. Oh, this is a bit different. Oh god, I did see this one. One of those guys. Oh, more petties. Oh no. What are they doing? Oh no. He's still alive. Oh my god. <laughs> But yeah, that was replaced, as it says here in the notes, with a light-hearted fourth wall-breaking moment. This game is, is still one of the most fucking unique, crazy things ever. They added it back in the Rare Replay version. Nintendo was not cool with that cutscene, same with the Pikachu one. Okay, pull the switch. An important part of the cutscene was removed. Did I have a comment about how this little noise here is the same as, like, Full Metal Jacket? Or inspired by? The percussion noise. Vinny, they didn't add it back, you played it. Oof. Yeah, I mean, I streamed the game like four years ago, so it's hard to remember. Oh, hang on a second. I think it's this one, actually. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> game over. Changed cutscene firing squad. In this build, he dies, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I streamed Conquer like three, four years ago. Could you untie me and just let me go? February 2016, wow. <laughs> So wait, they re-added some of these scenes back in for the Xbox version, for the remake? But they also censored the curse words that say poopy and shit? I'm getting so much conflicting information. Only twat? They only censored fuck and twat. Oh god, alright, so again, chat, don't listen to me, or don't listen to chat. Just figure it out yourself, I guess, because I don't know what's happening. I'm sorry I don't have the information for you, I just don't. Fish test room. Okay. Shit was uncensored in the 64 version, but censored in the Xbox version. Anyone want to do a remix? Unfinished cutscene. Wait, wait for me! Wait for me! Where you go? 
The definition of placeholder. I made it. I made it. 1502BD34. BD34 is the next Star Wars droid, everybody. We found him. And unfinished and removed scenes rock solid. <laughs> right? Rockbertsons. I forgot they were in this game. Beta64 in chat just said, it took 30 minutes to beat this level for you. <laughs> Thank you for your sacrifice. Wait, 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 wait. So I need to get the money? Oh, right up there, okay. Was, uh, one thing that always bothered me about this game was the fall damage. Uh, also, how the fuck do I even get that money? The tunnel? Tunnel, man. The tunnel drops you down. What, from up here? Oh god, oh god. Oh, 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 this tunnel. It's been, it's been too long. Okay. Okay, the next cutscene with the boss is both unfinished and removed. Don't know why there was a chirp there. Sorry about that. Chat room. Hey, Dad. Oh, where do you think you're going with that? What? The money. Oh, uh, I'm following her. I don't think so. I think you need to see the boss. Okay. <laughs> Just no, no movement, no mouth movement whatsoever. Well, this is the fella. Ah, cough me. So, this is the wise guy that tried to steal my dough. What do you got to say for yourself, boy? Um, what? Oh, hey. Hey, Barry, how you doing? It's me. Do you know this tea leaf? Yeah, like I'd associate with a caveman. The broad does not seem to know you. Like, is it okay if I go now? I gotta go powder my nose. <laughs> get out of here. Wait. Let's get back to business. I just got one thing to do. I'll be nice. with you in a minute. People gotta show the appropriate levels of respect. When they step out of line... They can expect to be respected back. One of you guys has shown no respect. Who it is, I don't know. Could have been Frankie. Could have been Joe. Who? Could have been Polly. Crusto. <laughs> it was Crusto. Do that again. 
Right. Where were we? As I was saying, boss, this is the guy. Tried to steal the, the dough. Oh, yeah. Tried to steal my dough, would you? You know what happened to the last guy that tried to do that? Uh, I don't oh, know I know the scene. Guesses. No, you just saw what happened. Hang on a sec. Come here, where are you little bastard? <laughs> Come here. Mist. Come here. <laughs> Got away again. Sorry about that. You know how it is. Yeah, Nintendo wanted the scene removed. All. <laughs> right. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Swimming with the fishes. Uh, look, you know, you can have the money. I've, in fact, I've got more money. You can have that, too, if you want. Oh, no, what am I doing? You can keep the money. But you gotta do me a little job first. Uh, a job? Oh, yeah, cool. I, but, I mean, you know, I'm gonna have to... I'll have to consider it first. But when, when Someone said I love the cadence like I of the to. voice acting in this good, game. Good. It's so weird. I'm glad you accepted. Yeah, it's Step strange. This way. Okay. Here's okay. the plan. We got ourselves a little problem. Fact, several little problems. You already got the disguise, so that's that one covered. What else you need? Is one of these. Is this a British guy doing an American accent? Bomb. These are the problem. Okay. Where they came from, I don't know. They seem totally out of place in this ecosystem. But they're here, and they're on my patch. One guy did all the voices? <laughs> so, what I propose that you Maybe do two guys. Is use your disguise acumen. Take the bomb. All right, so I think we can move on now, right? Yeah. Hey, check this out, everybody. PlayStation. Guess what game? Guess what game just crashed? Crash. This is an early prototype of Crash Bandicoot. Trash Bandicoot, maybe. Early pre-beta version of Crash. There's no music here. Pretty much all the menus changed. The levels are roughly the same, so check out the title screen and map. And then I can load a test room. Okay, something's going on here with this. This resolution is very strange. I can crop it for you. Okay. That wasn't in the final game, was it? Like, Donkey Kong Country-esque map? Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't own this game, but I played the demo a lot, so... Oh, and, you know, the fucking the collection that just came out, too. Wasn't in there. But again, no music. Um, very, very similar levels. I guess they ended up just focusing on making the levels as good as possible, and then all the other stuff later. So this is the test room. It looks- <laughs> it, it was perfect. One- one corruption, or rather one save state loaded directly into the next one. It looks like Crash just fell down here. It's excellent. So it says here, a room for testing, collect the head icons, and then go to a remove test minigame. What? It was a Donkey Kong style map, but it was all in 3D. Oh, okay. Is something not... Is something not loading? Restart it. Okay, apparently there's an object motherfucker here somewhere. I don't know what that means, but chat seems to know what it means. It's 
the scientist? Okay. The dude throwing the dynamite is object motherfucker. Something... The fuck? It loads in a sec? Oh, okay. Oh, so this is, um... Speaking of Donkey Kong Country... <laughs> no, wait a minute. No, that's bad. No, you don't- that's not correct. Try again. In the early versions, the lab um, guys were called assistants, then abbreviated to ass. They got more risque in the sequel with motherfucker. Okay. I guess they didn't expect people to be, like, digging into their file names. 25 years later. Hey, never mind. Removed cavern level. Oh, complete with fart sounds. Very nice. And I won. Uh, the, the, the only winning prize here is death. Sorry. This one's removed waterfall level. The enemy in this stage is unused and never seen in the full game. Challenge reached the top of the waterfall. It's not easy or short in any way, but it's possible. I'll try for three minutes. Okay, I'm um, gonna lower that down to two minutes. Now I'm just playing Crash Bandicoot, kind of. Oh god. Oh, God, I'm not God Gamer. I am not a God Gamer. Uh, this is removed cliff level. Watch out for the first few turtles. They will crash the game. Oh, yep, yes they do. Kind of a cool looking level, at least. Guess we'll just go <laughs> we'll just go that way. Alright, everybody. Here's your Sonic. The earliest build of Sonic 2 that is available. It resembles a lot of Sonic 1 and has a lot of issues with collisions, spikes not hurting you, and other weirdness. The only level you can play without debug stuff is Starlight Zone. I heard that Sonic 3 was recently dumped. Nick Arcade? This is the Nick Arcade version? Someone stole this from a trade show? <laughs> they stole it? Imagine having the balls to steal a build of a game from a fucking trade show. And yet, we wouldn't have this without it. Think about how many games... We'll never see early prototypes for, for historical purposes, because someone didn't steal a copy from a trade show. 
All right. We're gonna play a game of Sonic 2, and you have to defeat the Dr. Evil Robonik. Wait, what did you just say? Dr. Evil Robonik. Nick Arcade was one of my favorite shows as a kid, and then as I grew, as I learned, wasn't that great of a show. <laughs> also, that game that they step into at the end looked fucking impossible. Yeah, the green screen game. Where things just didn't work right, like the collision detection was ass. It was- uh, one thing that was nice was it made me feel like I was good at video games. When I was a kid, I thought I was a fucking, like, game master. I thought I was a pro. Because I would watch Nick Arcade and see them play so poorly. So this one is Scrapped Spring Yard Zone. This zone was later called Hidden Palace Zone. And was added in the mobile remake of the same name. If Tails goes in the water, he turns a weird color. Where, where even is Tails? Tails seems to be gone. How do you feel now, Vin? After playing Smash Brothers online with people, I feel like a shit gamer. Tail. Not just Smash Brothers, but, um, I was gonna make a Woe Smash Brothers and Chilled Smash Brothers too, but that was not good. It wouldn't have worked. Um,. I was gonna say, not just Smash Brothers, Mario Kart 8. I like loading into a game of Call of Duty and getting shot and dying within the first 13 seconds um, for a whole match straight. Oh my god, Tails. Vinny, at least you were legit good at Soul Calibur. I don't know if I was... legit good at Soul Calibur, to be honest. I had a couple matches that were good here and there. Like, I had my moments. I wasn't that good. It's like Smash Brothers. I can do a couple cool things every now and then, but I'm generally pretty fucking terrible at it. You know what? Against, like, people in real life, <laughs> like, locally, I can win lots of Smash matches, and I actually, like, have to kind of not win on purpose to give the, <laughs> the game, like, a fair chance. But if I play online, it's just garbage. I just fucking, I suck. Um, so this is Green Hill Zone. It says, challenge, beat the level. It's Green, <laughs> Green Hill Zone from Sonic 1, but because the tile, a uh, different tile compression system, it's super broken. Good luck. <laughs> Green Hell Zone. Oh, this is really bad. I can't def I can't win. Someone tried to steal Breath of the Wild from E3 2016, and they almost succeeded. On one hand, I just want to say, fuck the guy that tried to steal the game. Because that would have been, like... Like, don't do that. We're gonna do more Half-Life 2 stuff later. And, you know, some of that comes from a stolen build. So if you steal things, don't do that. But... You know, on the other hand... Anyway, this prototype, um, most likely came from a demo cart that was stolen from a New York toy fair in 1992. <laughs> it's named after Simon Y, who found it on Chinese Geocities page in 1998. So here's a different build of Sonic 2. 
Now, you have to understand, I don't know a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog, and I, I only am very... basically kind of almost totally unfamiliar with Sonic 2. So I don't know what I'm looking at, but if this brings anyone some kind of entertainment, or education, or any kind of joy, that's good. Vinny, he's the guy on the screen? No, that's Sonic 1 that's on the screen. Sonic 2, I thought, was the red one. Scrapped wood zone. Completely scrapped level that looks cool, but it's super short. Man, so they did a lot of different things. Tried a bunch of different things here. Okay. They didn't finish any of the things. <laughs> Vinny, you actually played this in a corruption I sent? Cool. They used this music on a different zone. Scrapped Genocide Zone? What? This was originally a mechanical-themed area called Genocide City, later changed to Cyber City. After this prototype, before being scrapped, it became Metropolis Act 3. Nothing is here, just interesting story and name. Wow. Early Casino Night Zone Act 2. No objects in this zone at all, so good luck making it up the first loop without a spring. They thought genocide sounded cool before they knew what it meant. Oh. Sonic Extreme Sega Saturn build, everybody. Meant to be the next big Sonic game after Sonic and Knuckle. The Sega Technical Institute worked on a game called Sonic Extreme for Mac and later PC with the hope of porting it to Saturn, but they could never get a good frame rate on that system. Another company was called in, named POV, and tried to port an earlier version of the game to the Saturn. This Saturn build was mistakenly shown first to Sega executives, and they were furious at how bad it looked. <laughs> Holy shit! By the time they got around to saying that the Saturn version was bad, the PC version was great. They had already given up on them and told them to scrap all of it and use a different engine. They had no choice to do it, but by Christmas. The project lead almost uh, died because of how hard he worked on it and was forced to leave the project, meaning he couldn't get it done in time and was scrapped. Oh my god. What the fuck was that story? I mean, how bad could it be? I don't think any of the directions are bound properly. Okay, I'm using a D-pad here for this. Um... No, no, there wasn't lag, I just had to go into the options and customize, uh, controls a little bit, because the... the controls weren't about This is not... that... okay, alright. It's the controls that are bad. The frame rates look fine. Like, you have to always be moving diagonal? This was replaced by Sonic 3D Blast. Uh, 
I mean, there's really not much going on, so the frame rate's pretty solid. Sonic is a sprite, or like, you know, pre-rendered. Interesting, though. Very interesting story. The frame rates look fine because you're running it on a supercharged modern Saturn. True. The only reason I got confused is because when I played Glover, there were some chunky frame rates. So I thought maybe it would have been like the same hardware. Um, anyway, this one is, uh, oh, Konami. Oh man, I remember when Konami was uh, alive. So this is Castlevania Symphony of the Night E3 version, and I'm wondering who stole this. John Thief showed up at E3 and literally fought seven Konami employees. The title screen is different, but the long intro didn't change. Feel free to skip to the next state. Are we going to get what is a man? Well, let's revel in the music for a minute. There's those smash moves. Richter's like, I don't need this shit! Wait, 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 wait. That stuff wasn't... Like, was that like that in the, um, original version? In the final version? It was. Okay, I was just, just checking. I thought maybe for a second they, they changed the items to hearts for Richter, and then back to the items for, uh, Alucard. は<笑> Perhaps the same could be said of oh. religions. The orange anime cat voice, I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, is that I wish I were a bird? Yeah, I can't really tell like what specific differences there are here, but there's just some text and um, different game over screen. I think I'm gonna let Dracula kill me. Die, monster! I mean, Richter. I think maybe you can die in the E3 demo, I don't know. God, okay, well now Maria's gonna save Richter. Okay, now kill me, Dracula. Okay, never mind. So, can't die. I think I could probably die as Alucard. Uh, 
uh, yeah, maybe this isn't the best demo to be showing at E3, like... I feel like a good demo would be the beginning of Alucard segment. Because this is the end of- this is like a- an easier version of the end of Rondo of Blood. Well, I think w the reason I say that is it would have been a nice surprise if this wasn't even, like, shown at E3, and it was just, like, a surprise for players. Like, oh shit, you get to play as Richter in this game?! Richard?! And then you beat the Dracula fight as Richter, and then you start the game as Raiden. Any Rondo didn't come out for North America. Oh, that's right. It didn't. Well, it Dracula X did. So you were the one called Shaft. Vampire is most recently wrecked directed. Uh, however, one night four years later, under the bright glare of the moon, Richter mysteriously vanished with no idea of where to begin. Her search, Maria Renard, set out to look for him. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula, which is rumored to appear only once every century, suddenly and mysteriously materialized. Meanwhile, powerful forces were at work in the life of a man named Alucard. The very same Alucard had previously teamed up with Trevor... Rever... Rever Belmont to destroy his immortal father, Vlad Tepesh, a.k.a. Count Chocula. Alucard, in order to rid the world of his own cursed bloodline, sealed off his powers and entered into what was supposed to be an eternal slumber, but now that sleep has been disturbed, and Alucard is aware of the evil that has once again arisen in his homeland. Did it say Cracula? Well, it was the D was messed up. The time has come. Once more, for the forces of good and evil to engage in their ancient battle, Dracula's castle beckons uh, for you. Perhaps none but that bright and glaring moon can say who will triumph. Yeah, that's different. A lot of that's different. Wow, Alucard is so much faster in the E3 version. Oh, it's the Japanese VA, so you're not gonna get the... Whoa! We should probably go see Death. Uncle Death, hang on a minute. Let's go see- let's go see Uncle Death for, before I, uh, take... The resolution here is- yeah, it's very small. Pretty damn close to the final version, though. I don't- I don't remember how to do Dark Metamorphosis, chat member. I'm sorry. It says here... Uh, according to Cutting Room Floor, a version of Castlevania Symphony of the Night, which was based off of the final Japanese version, is- it's in mid-translation, and as such has many textual differences. Oh, I think you have to unlock Dark Metamorphosis. No, you can use it? Hang on a minute. <laughs> there it is. Okay, yeah. I was like, well, maybe you get it after the scene? And 
Alucard has business at the castle. So we will eat again. Nani? Okay. Now I will just take the damage. They, they do a lot more damage now. To be continued September 1997. That looks more like a Resident Evil title screen than Castlevania. <laughs> the fucking font is amazing. Alright, I know this segment's running a little long. We're, we're at two hours right now. But I've got one more game for you. And I think it'll be a good one. It is Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> This is the kiosk demo. There's a way longer intro at the start. You can skip the DK rap if you want. It's the same. Leads to a different title screen. And one of three levels you can try. You wanted the DK rap, here it is! <laughs> oh fuck, it crashed. Sorry! Who would've thought? Who whomst would have thumpsed? Always that that scream is so fucking guttural. The beginning scream. Sounds like it hurt that beast's throat. All the monkeys recorded for this intro scene have sadly passed away. Chat, I don't know that for real. Come on. Monkeys live forever. I'm sure everything's fine. One character of the DK rap. That's all you're getting, chat. You're getting one. You've heard this a thousand times, chat. So listen up, dudes. All right. Okay. Let's let's move on. Here, here, here we go. 
God damn it. Go. It's it's a long fucking song. All right, here's the um Here's the title screen of the kiosk demo. Dragon? Serious crust. Is this the first fucking thing that you jump into in this demo? Dear God! Apparently, the um, different sound for fire breathing and a balloon appears up top, which is an early file system that was scrapped. That is a horrible noise. Life system. Oh, life system. Okay, flashing lights warning. This is, um, early armadillo fight. It even had voice acting early on. But yeah, this is a really weird... This is a really weird way to showcase this game. Immediately dump the player into a boss battle. E3 demo level select. Okay, hang on a minute. Now this is actually... This makes a lot more sense. Hmm? Fucking monkey scream. Good. Um, notice that this environment is the same as the army Dillo fight. That's because stages have objects and environment. The objects remain for this and the following state, so in order to get them to load, you'll have to use the environment from the armadillo fight. Even if it wasn't meant to go with these objects. <laughs> Dear lord. Yeah, everything's fucked. At this point, the booth would have reset the game, but the emulator is still in support. Kill code. Vinny, please play Gibbon noises. Okay. That's a gibbon noise? Okay, thanks! I was expecting something way more disgusting than that. Well, this demo is fantastic. I really... Really see what this game is all about. I know things are going wrong. I know things are going horribly wrong. Okay, there's the armadillo fight again.
<laughs> okay, so this is early angry Aztec boss area. Um, I can't play this. Like, the controller is not working. Skip the cutscene, maybe. What? Whoa, 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 what? They're out in the middle of a field. And in a mountain. Yeah, this is the live version. <laughs> Here I am trying to skip the DK rap. The game won't let me. second one play too there is no kong on screen sorry <laughs> okay okay let's try that again um i think maybe so I have to re-enable controls how do I do this controller settings connected yeah I don't, I don't know he Forgot to disable the game shark code. Well, apparently there's a mermaid in this one. This Kong is a fuck face. Early frantic factory boss. To get the cutscene to work, you can't move. After the intro finishes, go to the next state. These clowns were in the game, though, yes? No? Why do I rem- These enemies aren't in the final game. Damn. Thanks for playing. Oh man, I can't wait until Christmas 99. 20 years ago. Dear Lord. And now I can kill the clowns. Kind of curious about this mermaid though. What, what is the mermaid? Was it like an early mermaid enemy? It's just a T-posing mermaid statue. If anyone could get me a... Oh, it was an NPC from Gloomy Galleon. Okay. Beta64 is gonna post a picture. And finally, one more... Attack of the Clones. What the fuck? <laughs> Imagine being chased by the Rare logo. There's a joke in here somewhere about Rare killing their, like, best IP after Microsoft acquired them, but I can't figure out what it is.
I guess I won. Weird. Okay, I'm waiting for the um, mermaid picture, but... You know, thanks for watching, everybody. This went a lot longer than I expected, but it was also... a lot more interesting than I expected, too. And, uh, if you're like... And if you're the type of person that enjoys, like, a deep dive into video games, then I think you probably enjoyed this as well. So... We have Sunday Stew up next. What's this? Uh-oh, Stinky? No. People are posting the quote-unquote mermaid. All right, I'm gonna head out. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take a break. Um, I don't know where that mermaid is, but don't worry about it. One day we'll find the mermaid. <laughs> Alright, quick break. Sunday Stew up next. Just a bunch of uh, weird games. I'll show you the mermaid when we get back. Um, and then after that, we'll do more Half Life 2 beta stuff. We should have enough time. If not, then we'll make more time. Another time. Nope. We're not doing that again. So stick around. Be right back. Jesus. Jesus. See you in a bit.
Flaming Groovies, or rather just Flaming Groovies, no the. Shake some action. I don't know if I've played that on stream. I think I might have, but it's just one of those fucking songs that gets stuck in your head, and I had to play it because it's been stuck in my head, and I like it. Thank you for your patience, everybody. This is the mermaid. <laughs> At least the phone's got a good charge. Hey, I forgot to say this a, uh, a second ago, even though I did say it at the beginning of the stream. But thank you, Beta64, for making that pack of all the wonderful beta content. Thank you for um, packaging it in a very easy to understand and discuss way. Um, and chat, if you like stuff like that, Beta64's channel is pretty good. If you like um, early versions of games that never got released, some of which were stolen from trade shows, apparently. So thanks, man. Much, much obliged. All right. 